Hey guys, my name is John and I'm one of the founders of Lavish Media Designs. We started this business back in 2018 and now we're a growing business and we're always looking to do new things. So right now we're trying to start a new, mostly a vlog style video series on our YouTube, just showing everyone the behind the scenes. We have a lot of things planned, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of the new content coming out. For the past few years, we've kind of really been digging into embroidery and I just kind of kept wanting to do the same stuff over and over again. But recently I started getting really interested into screen printing and other mediums of decoration. I'm really interested in rhinestones right now. I'm also really interested in woven and knitted items. Um, such as sweaters and things like that but i'm not quite at that level to create those items yet some of those i will have to get manufactured for right now i'm really getting into screen printing so today we are doing a little bit of experimenting one of our friends um, his name is jasiri he runs soul solutions on instagram we are collaborating with him on all of these vintage crew necks that you actually see behind me and you see the ones that are being printed right now. I'm using water-based ink just because it seems a little bit easier to use as a beginner. And I actually ordered this screen pre-burned online. So let me know in the comments if you want me to go a little bit more in depth about that process and how I got that made. This is our first screen printed drop that we wanted to try. And this would be something that is limited um, as far as the crew necks go, but we do plan to release these shirts maybe in a couple weeks. I'm really happy with how the half tones came out and I really want to do more of this. So I hope you guys really like the screen print experimentation that we have going on here. We're gonna see how this one does first and go from there. So I'm just gonna stick to simple one color prints for right now until I get a little bit more comfortable with screen printing and then we can experiment with um, two colors and three colors maybe once we master the, the art a little bit more. that time of year, huh? Oh yeah. Actually man, what size hoodie are you? If we have an extra, um, I'd, I'd love to give you one. You sure? Yeah. Oh cool. Please. Um, I have an extra large. Extra large? Okay. Cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Thank you all. Yeah, absolutely. I hope you like Pokemon. <laughs> so last year in the summer, I was actually planning to go to a car show out in Detroit. And we were going to meet up with our friend Devin. And the reason why we were going to the car show is because we were a vendor at the car show. We had a booth to sell merchandise. I decided to take my BMW and my brother and his girlfriend decided to take their car and thank goodness that we decided to do that because on the way to, to Devin's house, uh, we were on the freeway and my car, the serpentine belt broke and I lost power steering and I ended up losing, yeah, things were not looking good. So on the freeway, I was going so fast and mostly straight, so I didn't really feel the power steering. As soon as I got off the freeway, I went to go make that first turn 
and the car was so heavy. And if anyone's ever driven an E92 before, you will know that they are the heaviest cars to steer. I basically had no power steering and my battery light was on. So I was like, what the heck's going on? So I turn off the car and it doesn't turn back on. So I panic and I like get out of the car and our other friend Danny thankfully was there too. So I run out, he's right behind me and I'm like, yo, we gotta push my car. So he starts trying to push it and then I get back in the car, I try to start it, it starts up like that. So I don't know what happened. So at that point, we went to the show, all that happened, we came back and then I believe the next weekday, I go out there with one of my friends, Xavier. Um, he's one of my good friends. He runs a local shop here in Holland um, called Infamous Garage. Uh, link's gonna be down in the bio if you guys wanna check him out. We go out there together. He gives me a ride out there. We replace the belt. We let it run for about half an hour, 45 minutes to make sure nothing goofy was gonna happen. Everything was good, right? No check engine lights, no nothing. And we're like, okay, let's drive home. And we started driving, everything's good. And all of a sudden I see there's a low oil pressure light. And I was like, what's going on? Me thinking I'm smart, I pull up the oil meter inside my car. Cause in BMWs, there's not a dipstick. There's just a little oil meter. And luckily my car had been running all this time for me to check the oil levels. And I was really confused at the time because the oil levels, they were at max. So in my head, I was like, why is there low oil pressure? I have full oil, there's, there's no way. We pull over to the side of the road and me and X look at it and we see that there's a leak coming from the crank seal. And we just think, oh, that's probably why there's low oil pressure. There's just an oil leak and that's where the pressure is leaking from, causing low low pressure so we stop by a auto zone and we get some brake clean we make sure it's cleaned off yeah we also make sure that all the pulleys and things like that have no oil on them to prevent the belt from slipping off again since the crank was leaking oil and then from there we just drive the car the rest of the way home me being the idiot that i am we had a car meet the next weekend so i drive my car to work not realizing the severity of everything that had just happened and i kind of just drive it one last time to work and i kind of just leave it there and that's when i realized how bad this could potentially be so at this point i'm asking all the people around me to see if anyone can help me with my dilemma because i don't know what i'm doing when it comes to engine work and this is pretty severe so essentially what happened was when the belt broke, it got spun around the crank, the crank seal broke, and my engine literally sucked the belt into my motor. And the belt particles starved my motor of oil because it clogged up the pickup tube and various other things of the engine as well. I was super lucky that my car didn't explode. So fast forward a couple of months, Tom's been working on it a little bit here and there. And we finally have all the parts in. So hopefully the next vlog that you guys see, you guys will see us driving the BMW and seeing how she runs with all the new stuff that I put on it. Sometimes being a small business owner can be a little tough though. There's some days where it gets really overwhelming just because I'm really the only one here doing everything. I'm doing everything from production to shipping to sorting to folding to trimming. Customer service, I answer all the, the DMs. I um, answer all the emails, all the live chats on our website. I upload all the new products. I take a lot of pictures. I do a lot of the social media. So I'm learning to ask for help. 
when when I need it. So I don't overextend myself because you don't want to get burnt out. If you if you get burnt out, then you obviously can't work, and that can lead to a lot of not so good things. So if you have anyone, definitely ask for a little bit of help. So recently, one of our friends, uh, Bobby, he's been helping us do a lot of the marketing. Also recently, my mom has been coming out on her days off to help us ship. And it's really nice because that allows me to answer emails and DMs and answer you guys a lot more quickly than I normally do because I'm not spending that time trimming and shipping and packing. You know, she's a mom, so I feel like she folds things really well and she makes sure that the package looks really good. But again, make sure that you don't burn yourself out and you ask for help whenever you need it. Or if you can't ask for help, maybe just take a little break. Go on a walk, go outside, take a little breather. People will understand because you are only human. <laughs> Damn, did it fall? No, it just oh. like was not ankled right. Sick, so I'm gonna film all of that again. <laughs>